All right, well, you heard Mike there talking about Prince being without a will, dying without a will, and we just uh, heard them discussing what a battle this will be for the family. Well, if you don't want that to happen to your family and you don't have a will, you need to pay attention to this next segment because Stuart Welch is here to explain what happens if you don't have a will and someone dies. Here he is. I promise you, there he is. <laughs> there we go. How are you doing? Perfect. Good, good to see you. Okay, let's get right to it. So what happens, and we all think, sadly, we think we've got time to do this, but if you're watching right now and you don't have one, need to think about getting a will, right? You do. I mean, obviously, Prince died suddenly and unexpectedly, and obviously that could happen to anybody. So I think uh, you die without a will, it can be horrendous. And what mean, you die in test state, which means the will is written for you by mm -hmm. the state that you live in, in this case, Alabama. Okay, so if you died and didn't have a will, you're married with no children, but your parents, or at least one of them, still living, what happens? So, Janice, in your brain, you go, I think everything's going to go to my wife. Uh, or my spouse, and it doesn't. So what happens is, in that case, the first 100,000 goes to the surviving spouse. The balance is actually split between the spouse and that parent. That parent could be 80. Mm -hmm. You know, they could be an eight, a very elderly person, and the surviving spouse is gonna be pretty unhappy. All right, so that could happen. And then married, no children, um, what happens? Let's or, go married or, with children. We're married with children. Married okay. with children. So yeah. again, you would think, well, if anything happened to me, I'd want you know this to go to my spouse. Take I, care in of my, my children. case, my wife. Take care of my children. That's not what happens. The first fifty thousand goes to the spouse. Then it is split between the spouse and the children. And if the children are minors, they can't receive assets. So the court appoints a, a representative for the child. It's a big mess. It can be a big problem. How was this ever set up in the first place? Yeah, I, it's the government. What, <laughs> I mean, what do you say? It's the government, and they want to make sure that the children are treated fairly. So I guess in some cases it. it makes sense because there have been, a lot of times these things come out of cases that have been bizarre and they're trying to protect people? Well, it's been law for a long time. Uh, it probably ought to be reviewed and maybe rethought through. But uh, that's how it is. And the simple solution is to have a will and say exactly what you want it to do. All right, so what's your suggestion today if someone's watching and they don't have a will yet? Well, if they don't have a will, first thing, go to your website because I've done, I've listed out all the different options and you okay. can find out exactly what would happen to you. But I'm all gonna right. say, if you don't have a will, get one. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you do have a will, think about if you had all of your assets came together and there were cash and that money was going to go say to children, are those children prepared to handle that amount of money? And if not, you might want to consider a trust. And a trust does what? A trust holds the money uh, for the benefit of the child until the child's ready to receive the corpus of the trust. So it can say anything you want it to say, but if you don't want the child to get a very large check in cash, mm -hmm. then you're going to need a trust. How expensive to do a will that well, it depends on how complicated it is. So they can be relatively inexpensive. Uh, when you start getting into trust, it's going to be a little more expensive. But let's just say it's a relatively complicated. Generally, three thousand dollars or less mm -hmm. could be a lot less. Could be a thousand or less. Just right. depends. But always get a quote in advance so that you know what you're up against. Okay. And, and if you just have a simple will that you want to do, it'll be a lot less than that. So don't be discouraged if you're thinking, "Oh, I can't afford that." right now, look into what you can yeah, do, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. All right, good to see you. Thank all you. All right, WBRC.com, you can get all the information he was talking about. All right.